looks really cool. This isn't the GBA Ribbon Road from GBA. It's not even the GBA Ribbon Road from uh, from Mario Kart 8. It is an animal of itself. Whoa! Okay. Oh my god. Right. A lot's going on, I can tell. This is a GBA Ribbon Road, but like really jank and really stretched out. I, I can tell it's based on the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version. I can I can already tell that. But like, good lord, it's very, very janky. Does this still have um all the shortcuts? I don't I don't know if it has any of the Oh boy. I don't yeah, I don't know. I can't tell if it has any of the shortcuts like here. I really can't tell. Oh, there's a ramp there. Is that a cannon? No, it's not. Whoa my god! Hold on, please tell me that counts the lab. Yes! <laughs> Unintentional cheating! I love it. Oh, you've got to love dank cover tracks sometimes. It allows you to do stupid stuff like that. Alright, let's see if I can not... Okay, there you go. I managed to survive that first bit. Again. Good. This is so... I love the um, effects on this map. It looks really nice. I, mean, I, I wasn't quite expecting this when uh, when this track came up. Like, this is... It's so baffling. I, I, I love it. Uh, because it looks it looks really pretty, but God, it drives so awkwardly. <laughs> and let's just let's just keep going and uh, and finish this one off. I want to see if I can actually land on the the little target ramp thing instead of like cheating. Even though the cheating bit was kind of funny. Oh yeah, it kind of sends you a little bit higher up than usual, and then yeah, you're just gonna go on your way. I'm surprised that's not out of bounds. Like that's I guess that just acts as the off road from uh, from Eight Deluxe. I imagine. Um, but yeah, this is a very, very cool... It, it's a it's a cool... Uh, well, visually, it's very cool. I can't say this track drives well, because it doesn't. But, like, I still... I do still like tracks that have, uh, you know, cool effects, have some cool ideas. And, like, any track that has a really janky shortcut is quite funny. I mean, would I like to drive this track all the time? No. But as a one-off kind of novelty track for fun, I think this track is absolutely hysterically funny. Um, I want to see if I can do that shortcut again, just for uh, for fun. So it was round here, we turn, and then I guess I guess turn all the way, and I've I've done the shortcut. Oh, that might have been a bit too ambitious. No wait, I've done it. There you go. Again, I love that you're just allowed to do that. But uh, yeah, again, cool visuals, but the track driving it, it's terrible. But again, as a one-off, it's it's funny. Ooh, it's spoopy. Haunted mansion. That minimap looks very curious. And I've already fallen off. I wasn't expecting the road to be that slidey, I'll be honest. That is extremely slidey road, and I've lost all my mushrooms. So, okay, this way. And this way. Okay, cool. That that minimap just looks a bit odd. So I'm kind of curious as to where I'm meant to be going. This way? Yeah, okay. I, I had to look at the minimap there just to make sure. Whoa, hello. This is really weird. I mean, it's it's a Haunter track from Pokemon. So, I mean, you know, Haunter is a ghost-type Pokemon. So, I imagine the track would have some kind of spoopy shenanigans in it. I just hope there aren't any jump scares. If there are any jump scares, I will be sad. <laughs> I feel like I hate, I, I hate scary tracks. I just, I just don't like, I don't like things that are scary. Uh, they're just they're just not for me. But um, I mean this track is cool. Like it's it's a pretty cool track. Oh boy, is that off road? Okay, that bit's off road. This bit is that's a, that's kind of weird to see because this texture is a bit darker. So, I mean I guess it it differentiates itself pretty well. And it's a Warwick track. Good old Warwick. And I fall off again. That first turn is so awkward. And like especially starting off, I would have placed the first start slash finish line a little bit further back because like. There's just no room for you to turn at all. Like, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that first turn was just impossible. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll keep trying to do it, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was impossible to finish. Um, but yeah, again, I like I like uh, Warwick branching out with inspirations, going to uh, Pokemon now, which I don't think he'd done previously. So it's it's cool to see some uh, some change from uh, from Warwick. Here. And the track itself is, is, it looks really pretty. I mean, Warwick tracks, I, I don't know if this is the prettiest Warwick track I've seen yet. I like the colours in it. I like the kind of uh, spooky, uh, kind of cinematic colours. Like the kind of sky. I think, I, I think that's really, really cool. This section is really sick. 
I, I like this section. I like the kind of dark purple crystals flying around. Um, I just wish that first, like, like that first quarter of the star would change a bit, though, man. Like, I just wish it was a little bit further back, because then, like, if it was placed somewhat around, like, you know, if it was placed, I don't know, like, here, like, that would just make things a lot easier. I, I, you, it's possible to make this turn, but you have to slow down so much to make it. I'm gonna go this way just for variation's sake. I mean, Warwick's multi-track routes don't really change that much. It just more feels like I'm playing mirror mode now. I'm just going the other way, and I'm trying to go against all my muscle memory. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good track, but, I mean, it, there are definitely some things that I would change about it. The track itself is, is fine, though. Like, I, I do, I do like, um, I think there should be more tracks based on Pokemon. We have Dragon Ice Island in, uh, CCP, and we, there, we played, I think, I can't remember what it's called, but I think it's from, um, Gold and Silver? We played, like, a, a root track, I think, like, this, no, I think we played the Safari Zone, me and Mero did, in, uh, in CT Showcase one time. Well, that might have been the, uh, that might have been that we didn't record for. But, like, that's round. Like, we should have more Pokemon tracks. I think that would be really cool. Oh, no, we did play, like, Umbreon's Pizzeria, uh, Rick and Morty, whatever it was. We played that track, which I'm not counting. But, like, yeah, overall, again, a good track. But I just wish that, um, oh, yeah, I didn't probably go through that wall. Um, but, yeah, I, I just wish that, um, the bitch this track would change a little bit. Other than that, this track's fun. Ooh, okay. So, this is a track based on, if you couldn't tell the title, based on Conquest Bad Fur Day, made by Ref, released in, I think, either 99 or 2000. And, um, I'll be honest, I know next to nothing about Conquest Bad Fur Day. I've never played it. I've seen quite a bit of footage. I know what the game's about. It is very silly. And it, it, it is... It is actually quite funny. Whoa! Hello. Um, but yeah, since this is made by Rare, I, I do get the sense. I, I do get the kind of Banjo-Kazooie vibe. And I feel like Conker... Oh my god, the giant grab. I feel like Conker gets a lot. I, it reminds people a lot of, um, of Banjo. And I think... Um, what, I say I don't know much about Conker and the actual game itself. I'll just talk a little bit about... Conquer and the various, like, history behind it. So I kind of know bits and pieces about that. Um, because obviously, um, Conquer, um, was originally in Diddy Kong Racing. That was where Conquer made his first appearance. And, um, I think originally, uh, Rare wanted to make a kind of new kind of kid-friendly mascot. And, like, obviously, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, comment section, if I have got this wrong. But I think originally Rare wanted to create a kind of, uh, another mascot character kind of similar to, to Mario or Sonic or like kind of other mascots at the time. Um, but the problem is, um, I think they already had Banjo for that. Now, that's what I think. I recognize these enemies for the kind of swamp looking things. Um, I think they, I don't know what happened, but I think Rare decided to go in a completely different direction. And instead of going the route they went with Banjo and Zoo, they just decided to make um, Conquer this really foul mouthed, sweary, you know, alcohol drinking, you know, squirrel. And, uh, you know, I want to go up here, actually. I think this is, like, yeah, this is very similar to, um, uh, to Conker. Or to, uh, Banjo, rather. I don't know if this will lead me anywhere, but I just want to see if this does go anywhere. Okay. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Alright, hold on. I'll just, I'll, I'll try and get up there, and I'll let you know if anything's up there. Okay, there's a door, and you can't go through. Well, that was a colossal waste of time, wasn't it? Right, so back to the track itself, and uh, an extension, Conquer. Um, yeah, so Conquer, um, that was the Conquer Bad Fur Day came out, and I think a, a remake came out a little while later, because Conquer kind of went on the, uh, the back burner for a while. Like, as did a lot of rare games that were bought out by Microsoft. Um, and, yeah, like, we haven't really seen anything from Conker or Banjo, actually, since. Like, they haven't really appeared properly again. Like, the last Banjo game to come out was, like, 2009. I, or, like, 2000 and... I can't remember exactly when it came out. But I know it was, um... Banjo-Kazooie Nuts... Or, Ban yeah, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which is... 
a good game, but it's not a good banjo game. And then Conker just hasn't been seen again since he first came out. Um, ooh, what's through here? Anything? That's out of bounds. Okay, why is that out of bounds? Can I go through here? No. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, from what I remember, this is the, uh, the mountain of, or the layer of an enemy called the Great Mighty Pooh. Which, I'm, I'm not joking, uh, it was a giant, uh, there's no, there's no polite way of saying this. It was a giant turd, um, that sang opera at you, and he had his own theme that he sung at the beginning of his boss fight, and that was Tonka's Bad Fur Day. It was very much of the time, I suppose. It was very, you look at that and you go, yeah, that's something that the 90s would do. In terms of the track itself, I mean, it looks very... I can't say it looks much like uh, Kong is Bad Photo, because again, I haven't really probably played the game. But I can say it's, it very much follows Rare's style of game. And, like, Rare's style of art, which is... It's, it's very cool. Rare games are very, very pretty. Um, and, yeah, um, I don't think Kong is Bad Photo will be brought back to Nintendo Switch Online. But, I mean, we can all live at home, right? I mean... We, I think a lot of people need, a lot more people need to see the great mighty Poo singing opera songs to Conker. And just people need to play this game in general, because it, it does look very good. What in the world is this? Yeah. It's Luigi's Mansion, but changed slightly. What's through here? Nothing, it's more path. This feels way more slidey than usual. Is that just me? Oh, wow, okay. Now as your sunny turn to Luigi's Mansion got shrunk in the wash. What is this? Okay, so like, why are the root up these stairs so small? Okay, I think it's just, I think it's literally just the, um, it's just the, sh uh, the stairs that got shrunk in the wash. That's so weird. Okay, let's just keep, oh no. This spiral, this spiral is so awkward. Whoa, okay. So it's like, okay, so this is more, I get it. So this is, do I, where do I go? Do I go through here? No. Do I go... Wait, what? Oh, I'm a... I'm a bit confused. Where am I actually going? I think I'm going down here. Okay, I am going down here. Good, good, good. Okay, I was I was really confused for a second. I just had no idea where I was going to go. Um, oh, this path is quite narrow as well. So yeah, this... I mean, the mansion section, I guess, is like way more faithful to uh, original Luigi's Mansion. I don't know if Luigi's Mansion had lava in the middle of it, though. Although maybe this was a track Luigi had to go through to get here in the first place. I mean, we don't know what uh, lays, you know, we don't know what, what was before, um, uh, like, the forest that Luigi walked through to get here in the first place, the original game. We don't know that. Um, but yeah, this is so weird. Yeah, it's more fatal to the original in terms of, like, you know, going through all the different, like, routes of the mansion. Like, you go on the roof, there's the hallway. Um, you know, obviously there's... Oh, my God. There's more of the forest. Whoa! Okay. I'm surprised that's not out of bounds, to be perfectly honest. Actually, no, never mind. There's, um, there's still floor here. But, yeah, oh, this, this is so tricky. I imagine on 200cc... Uh, you could do a lot of really awkward stuff with this track. I, I imagine you could. Uh, I'm going to go on over here. Yep. And, okay, this is where I'm meant to go. All the boos. Hello, boo. And that's nothing. Yeah, this is very weird. It feels like... This part feels... Em like a, it feels really kind of, like, wide and, like, explorable. But at the same time, it's really restricted because you're only allowed to go down, like, one road. And it's really thin. And, like, God knows how this would work on versus races. Because I imagine, like, it's, it's so thin that, like, lightweight vehicles would have a really rough time of actually, you know, trying to traverse and drive this stage. But, I mean, especially going up here. Can I drive up the walls? No, I can't. Can I drive up the stairs here? Yes, I can. Okay. So, if I just, like, do this, you can somewhat cheat your way up the stairs. Let me try that again. I wonder if I can turn up the stairs and make a, a, a good kind of cut out of this. Okay, maybe not quite. But it's good that you can it's good to know you can drive up the wall. Oh go on! Oh, I thought I was gonna make up the stairs. Again, if you're on Twitter and CC or if you're just better at this track than I am, um, you can definitely do some really wacky shortcuts with this. Oh my god. 
Okay, all of that bit's trickable. Noted. Okay, this is so weird. This bit, again, feels reopened, but at the same time, like, this is, like, the road it leads to. And, like, the rest of this is just really wet, murky off-road. And I'm not entirely sure why. There's all this forest to explore. Why am I not allowed to kind of, like, drive on it slash explore it? And why is this all, like, you know, non, like... Why is that all drivable as well? There, there, again, there are bits... This track just feels really open now. And it feels really empty. Which I guess fits Luigi's Mansion. But at the same time, I do wish there's a little bit more of the track. The Mansion bit is really cool. I just wish the outside forest section had a little bit more to it. But other than that, this is... It's very wacky and it's quite funny. I do enjoy it. Oh, <laughs> oh,